Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. Okay, infant baptism, simplest argument that Luther would give us. Um, against one of the more common critiques that I hear about whether or not you should baptize babies, it's, it's the example one, where you grab an example, somebody who was baptized a as a baby and who sadly rejected the faith and, and fled from true belief. And they would point then to, to this, this child who grew up to leave the faith as, as a sign that well, it was bad to baptize babies because clearly it didn't go so well. And after all, when you take God's gifts and you twist them around on themselves and you use them outside of his command, bad things tend to happen. I mean, read the Old Testament about how many people suffered because they tried to misuse God's gifts. Even read the New Testament where um, people communed wrongly and many got weak and ill and even died in Corinthians. So here's the thing. You have to take this baptism that God gives and say, well, um, if he really wanted you to be baptizing babies, why are there so many people who were baptized as babies and left the faith? And I mean, okay, maybe that's a, a valid critique, but only if you want to answer the question why there are so many people who were baptized as babies and who still do believe. See, if it was so terrible to baptize a baby that God would actually not use that to keep them inside of the faith, if it were so um, useless to, to baptize a baby, then why are there people who were baptized as babies who do believe. And I don't just mean today, I mean throughout all of history. I mean, especially since the ideas about whether or not you should baptize babies didn't even pop up until like the 1500s, like 1500 years after our Lord ascended. Only then did we really start to talk about this thing. And, and this is something Luther in his lifetime, as he sees this, this awful thing pop up, just answers um, very clearly that the baptism of infants is pleasing to Christ is sufficiently proved from his own work, namely that God sanctifies many of them who have been thus baptized and have has given them the Holy Ghost. It, it is a really simple argument, but it's, I mean, it's not without its point. If it's so bad to baptize a baby, and we've been doing that for uh, 1,500 years, how did the church endure? I mean, how were any saved? If you really want to say that it was so bad to baptize a baby, how do you deal with the fact that, well, Christian Christianity's history for the vast majority of the time only baptized babies. But more importantly, as a question, why are you looking for doubt where God would only want to work certainty? I mean, isn't that what he gives us baptism for? That he would sh assure us through his word combined with water, which we can receive and actually know that by being baptized, we have received all of God's gifts. Baptism now saves you. Baptism puts on Christ. Baptism unites us with Christ's suffering and death and most certainly his resurrection. Look to the simple fact that you believe his promises as a sign that they create the faith that they promise in the first place. And there, well, there you've got a little bit less to worry about, which is, of course, the whole point.